Palm Tree, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I am very concerned about Reverie. If you don't know who Reverie is, she is a rapper from Highland Park, Los Angeles, which is not far from where I grew up. Um, very successful independent rapper, uh, you know, toured with the likes of The Grouch, Murs from The Living Legends. She's got a new album out called No Chaser. I actually haven't listened to it yet, but it's on my to-do list. Okay, anyway, so she's put out a series of TikTok videos where she's now rocking the shaved head, and at first she said, well, she did it because she was sending out copies of, you know, the album and found out there was a staple shortage in the United States. Then she got sent to... Then she sent her assistant to Staples, then found out there was no Staples at the Staples store, then she went to Office Depot, and then she had to rob the Office Depot, and then she made another video talking about she joined the Illuminati. Reverie, is this convoluted story all to promote your album? If it is, just say so, girl. Second of all, now here's the interesting thing. Reverie was supposed to perform at this event I was at last night in Hollywood at BuzzFeed. She was supposed to perform at the Perfect Fifth Collective event and she pulled a no-show. I wonder why. Then this video comes out of her saying that she's joined the Illuminati. And I just wonder what is going on. And I'm not here to shame Reverie. I'm not here to put her down or anything. I just want answers. You know, is this all a convoluted plot to promote your album? If it is, you know, whatever happened to, you know, you're, you're a successful artist. Like I just saw another TikTok of her performing in Germany, you know, so I don't understand. I know there's got to be some level of trolling here, but if she is really going through something, we need to pray for her and please let me know as a supporter how I can be supportive. I don't use the word fan because you know what I think fan stands for. But yeah, uh, just a couple of months ago, I pulled up to one of her functions at Durwolf in Pasadena and she was super cool. We got a little content in and it was nothing but love. But this is kind of alarming and concerning because why would you throw these videos out, drop in the Illuminati's name and then, you know, the staple story? It's just got to be a joke, you know? But, you know, at, with some jokes, you do also want to see the punchline. The other part of this is that when I mentioned her on my story yesterday, I got a DM which seemed automated with the link to the album. So, interesting here. There's a lot of things going on. I just want answers. All right, to Satori Mob, who is, you know, uh, the cult following of Reverie's fans, which she dubs under that name, Satori Mob. I want you to sound off in the comments. Is she trolling? Am I a sucker for it? Do, are we falling for something? Or are you going along with it? Or are you not? Let me know in the comments. All right. Peace, love, palm. Pray for Reverie. The truth for so long. So, yes, all of these videos will be hard to find right now. And maybe they're all like ba being banned right now. But it's not going to be like that forever. It's going to come out. The truth always comes The truth always comes out in the end. And if the government's... If every government in the world has fucked every country in the world, these motherfuckers need to say sorry. So as the plot thickens, Reverie has posted a Tucker Carlson clip on her Instagram story and then went on a long rant, kind of questioning the COVID-19 vaccine and the misinformation that may possibly be spread by it. I'm going to repost her story rant in a separate video and i want your thoughts on that as well i'm just kind of curious to where her newly shaved head is going you better follow palm biatch